application of Rogerian theory involves other healthcare providers, as well as the family in patterning to address the unitary human being. The nurse can refer Mrs. S to the social worker to address her financial needs, concerns about caring for her children, and connect her to the available community resources. A patient with end-stage renal disease must monitor the amounts of fluid and certain nutrients that must be taken in each day. In this case, dietary referral will be beneficial to Mrs. S in considering her food preferences. The nurses introduces the process of touch to Mrs. S's children and teaches them how to incorporate touch during interaction with their mother. Therapeutic touch would only be an option if the patient feels safe being touched. In the presence of pain and discomfort, the nurse can teach Mrs. S on how to center and channel her energy to the affected area. Patterning directed to her anxiety of hemodialysis should be introduced. The nurse can teach the patient about hemodialysis, which can promote better understanding of the treatment. According to Rogers, the goal of nursing is promoting symphonic rhythms of the human and environmental field. While in the hospital, the nurse should provide a calm environment which patterns the environmental field to promote harmony related to the health event. Options that include music, light, humor, and journaling can be discussed. Bringing photographs and artwork of her children to decorate her room while in the hospital will help create energy and optimism. It can help Mrs. S to redirect negative thoughts and provide comfort for the soul.